each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed okay break it down even further then this is what happens this is what happens circle desire and circle sin desire is not sin do you have bad desires desires for wrong things desire for ungodly things yes but desire is not sin okay but hold your horses hang on desire when it is conceived when desire has everybody know what conceived means yes look at me it comes into being it's born it's not born born but it is conceived it's not out yet but it is there it has the potential to be out but it is there so a baby stays in the womb forever is unhealthy when conception happens the baby is coming you go buy the blue stuff blue shoes blue everything you go buy it yeah look at what James says when desire has conceived what does it do come on you got it in English when it desire has conceived what does it do it gives birth because whatever is conceived gives birth whatever conceived is going to come out where do you think it was going to go are you getting this argument if a baby is conceived where do you think it's going to go so once a desire has conceived it gives birth gives birth to what gives birth to sin okay and sin is still sin but it is in the coming right and sin when it is fully grown doctor baby is not growing doctor baby is not a doctor doctor baby is not growing okay when sin is fully grown it brings forth say it death love conceives and brings forth life sin conceives and brings forth death so don't conceive it don't conceive it shoot it at the desire level at the desire level abort 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 at the desire level when does this happen every quiet time every sunday morning every morning when you are in your in in in, in your quiet time when you're in devotions with god lord anything getting happening in there about 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 because if it never conceives it's never going to give birth so you don't 